Hey, hey, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10, where Most Amazing met Top 10 and had a baby me. What a weird way to introduce a video. So this is a video for all you huge anime fans out there, but also the people who have never watched a Japanese anime in their life, but want to, and they want to find one they can just sit and stare at the screen for 10 hours on their couch and not even move. I know we've all been there. It's the top 10 anime series to binge watch, and let's get right into this guys, like we always do with our number 10, we're going to be talking about Death Note. Death Note was an anime TV series that first aired in Japan on October 3rd, 2006, and ran for 37 episodes. It was based on a manga comic series of the same name, and follows Light Yogami, a genius teenager who discovers the Death Note, a notebook that will kill anyone whose name is written in it. The Death Note was dropped into the human world by a demonic Shinigami called Ryuk, out of nothing more than boredom, and things start getting a bit out of control as the corrupting power of the Death Note becomes apparent. <laughs> it's perhaps one of the most popular anime series of all time because it involves a very interesting clash of wit and also deals with some pretty dark moral issues along the way. Coming in at number 9 now, we've got Cowboy Bebop, and if watching anime can be called an addiction, then this show might just be the gateway drug to it all. After being pulled from Japanese TV for its adult themes and low ratings, Cowboy Bebop was aired in its entirety for the first time between April 24th and October 24th, 1999. Set in the year 2071 after a hyperspace gateway accident that left Earth uninhabitable, Cowboy Bebop follows a ragtag group of bounty hunters led by the enigmatic Spike Spiegel. Spike's main antagonist is a shady figure called Vicious, and when the two clash, sparks fly. Bang. Now you might think the show was successful because it's set in this kind of crazy future dystopian world, but really people just love the characters, they seem to be so unforgettable. Oh and also, the soundtrack is pretty top notch, people say that once you go cowboy bebop soundtrack, you never go back. Moving on to number 8 now guys, we've got the show called Sword Art Online. Now this is a show that leaves a lot of anime fans quite divided in their opinion about it, but one thing a lot of people can agree on is that it's very easy to binge watch. The show is set in 2022 when a virtual reality MMO called Sword Art Online is released to the public with a Nerve Gear helmet that stimulates the user's five senses. Everything is going well until the creator traps the users in the virtual reality by not allowing them to log out. The survival death match that follows had viewers glued to their screens for its entirety. Its immense popularity is actually attributed to its relatability with the viewers. There's actually a lot of crossover between MMO fans and anime fans. But a lot of fans turned sour when the second series came around, and the writing was criticised as a little bit sloppy. Some people felt that the plot wasn't going anywhere, and that the female characters became a little bit sidelined and cliched. But just like an MMO game itself, people ended up finding themselves absolutely hooked on it, whether or not they liked everything about it, it was just so addictive. Coming in at number 7 now, we've got Naruto. The plot involves the mythical Ninetales fox attacking a village, which is only saved when the head ninja seals the spirit of the fox inside his newborn son. This act kills him in the process, and causes his son, Naruto, to be outcast by the village out of fear for the fox inside him. The story centers around Naruto and his friends Sakura and Sosuke as they grow into adulthood, each one dealing with battling with their own inner demons. They also deal with a lot of things physically, I mean they are ninjas of course, and Naruto isn't going to be happy until he's the greatest ninja of them all. Now if that all sounds good to you, then there are actually an astounding 673 episodes of this show for you to binge on. There are not many anime series out there that can beat that, except for our number 6, which is the legendary Pokemon. Pokemon follows the exploits of Ash Ketchum, a 10 year old from Pallet Town in the fictional land of Kanto, where mythical creatures called Pokemon are waiting to become friends, foes and fighters for those who want to become a Pokemon trainer. Ash Ketchum wants to become the ultimate Pokemon master, and his quest to do so has captivated fans for almost 20 years now. There have been 900 106 episodes and counting since it first aired on April 1st, 1997, and a lot of kids who first started watching this series now actually have kids of their own. It's one of those series that you just want to binge watch even if you've seen it before because it's just such a classic. And I worked out that if you watched every single episode back to back without sleeping, it would take you roughly just over two weeks to do so. So if any of you guys actually manage that, then you're like my anime hero. 
At number 5 now we have Darker Than Black which first aired in Japan on April 5th 2007. 10 years before the show is set, two strange portals known only as Heaven's Gate and Hell's Gate open in South America and Tokyo respectively and bad things start happening. The stars are replaced by false ones that herald the arrival of dark beings known only as contractors. The story follows Hei, a Chinese contractor employed by a shady group known only as the Syndicate, whose sinister motives become revealed as the series evolves. Basically there's more magic and mystery going on than the magical mystery tour itself. Now some people do find the assassins and spies in Darker Than Black to be a little too closed off and they're hard to relate to, but a lot of people get absolutely hooked on the whole secrecy of the plot and characters and binge themselves into oblivion. At number 4 now guys we've got another classic in the form of Trigun. This is what happens when anime meets the American wild west and the dystopian future on a distant planet. It focuses on the exploits of a larger than life marksman known only as Vash the Stampede. At face value he seems like any other person trying to survive in this alien wasteland but he stands out as a man who always leaves an insane amount of destruction behind him wherever he goes. In fact he does so much damage wherever he goes that he ends up having his status as a human revoked by the government and they refer to him only as a localized disaster. Love it. Do you mean me? <laughs> His personality is split between the serious life of a man on the run from bounty hunters who want his head and a goofy fool who is making it all up as he goes along. That's just one of the many reasons why fans love it and people who start watching it really struggle to stop. Coming in number 3 now guys, we've got One Punch Man, the show where the title does all the explaining. Seriously, it's about a guy who can kill anything with one punch. One punch. That's literally it and people are hooked on it. And what do you do if you can kill anything in one single punch? You become a superhero of course, what else? You're not going to become a butcher. Well maybe you could, you could punch through me. I don't know where I'm going with that. The fictional city known only as City Z is under attack from a constant stream of mutant monsters. Rising above all the other superheroes is One Punch Man who eventually becomes bored with how easy fighting evil is if it just takes one punch to end them all. The true battle ends up becoming fighting the injustice of a world that doesn't really understand or appreciate him. It's really popular and fun and interesting and unique and if you guys haven't watched it yet I highly recommend you do. I'm probably going to go and binge watch it myself right after this video. At number 2 now we've got Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This adaptation of the Full Metal Alchemist series is praised as following the original manga comics more closely and being a better series in general. It follows brothers Edward and Alphonse Elric, two young budding alchemists who tried to bring their mother back from the dead using the forbidden spell of human transmutation. It's forbidden for a reason because it's seen as totally impossible to do and when the boys try and do the spell they fail miserably. Ed loses an arm and a leg while Al ends up losing his whole body and his soul has to inhabit a suit of armour. The series follows their quest to restore their bodies but not before they get caught up in a dark government conspiracy. It's widely regarded as one of the best anime remake series of all time and for good reason. Most people who pop it just can't stop it. Coming in number 1, you guys might have guessed it, we have Attack on Titan, arguably one of the most popular anime series in recent years. Attack on Titan centers around the adventures of Eren Jaeger and his childhood friends who live within giant walls as protection from titans that almost wiped out humanity 100 years ago. The people who lived behind the walls enjoyed relative peace for a century until one day the biggest titan the world has ever seen became the first to breach the wall. After watching a titan kill his own mother, Eren swears revenge and embarks on a quest against the savage giants. And the viewers are right there with him the whole way, go on Eren, this show is literally the biggest one of the past 3 years. Most people who agree with that statement are probably too busy watching the series right now for the 10th time as I speak. And if you guys want to join them it's literally everywhere right now you just can't seem to escape it and once you start watching it you probably won't want to. Well guys that's all we got time for, we have binged ourselves ridiculously on anime series you guys have to binge watch and I know I've probably missed some good ones out, I know the editors are huge anime fans and they're probably floating good ones around my head as we speak but I want you guys to let me know which ones are your favourite, let me know in the comments below and who knows maybe we'll make a part 2. In the meantime you guys know the drill, if you haven't subscribed already then that would be 
like probably the best thing that's happened in about four and a half hours for me. I'm making that number up on the spot because you know subscribing is that good to me. If you want to keep watching more videos right now, then there's two flung over there, so you can do that if you'd like. In the meantime, I do hope you have a most amazing day. My name is Danny Burke, and I'll see you guys in the next one.